is a better day. Today is the uh, debut of a new chainsaw to the channel. I got it for $125 in change with a 10% off coupon or something. The Neotech NH843, a clone of the Husqvarna 543XP. It's got to be the older generation. Uh, I had the uh, had a dealer, a backwoods uh, saw shop, also who's a dealer. He's not afraid to work on anything. I had the Strato gasket mod done, and I fixed the uh, neat, the broken uh, chain tensioner on the uh, Neotech NS872. It turns out it. The, the fix that NS872 034 parts he had one sitting in a dead shed room pirated the whole tensioner system put it in good to go but the point of this video is to see if this thing runs he did not start it uh, so this is putting it together in the first start Came with ear protection, the mixing bottle, the usual very nice Neotech toolkit for, you know, it, it, it's nice that they have the toolkit. Your regular cheap safety goggles, basic gloves, Neotech chain in the bag. Oh, Goodness, I think this is this is square square grind. That does me a lot of good. I got all round files. I'll just have to use this chain and uh, see how it goes. I don't know why they put square grind on here. That's a full chisel. I'm gonna have to careful with that I'll just get regular round file so maybe I'll do that if I go on a break run today go to the dealer and get some new stuff chains that round file chains that I can sharpen and save this chain for racing purposes It feels like a decent quality bar, at least the material feels decent. Okay. Okay, right, got the little bucking spike. Got the scrunch, got this. Okay, I know this has the mesh air filter, so I'm going to change that out at some point. It's got the torch spark plug. So what he did to uh, do the gasket, and to make it easier to remove the carb, he just uh, uh, took it apart, lifted up the loosened up the cylinder and raised it just a hair I have this. See, it does feel the handle feels pretty good quality. I 
I back the chain tensioner off all the way. Of course, outboard clutch, it's got a rim type sprocket on the back side. Yeah, to do a clutch bearing, you're going to have to pull the clutch off. So I'm not worried about that. I'll just run it the way it is, and if it dies, it dies. All right. First, the minuscule bucking spikes. They're all minuscule on saws of this size. Go these go directly into metal it helps to put them right side up Don't as aggressive as some dogs are it doesn't matter which way you go they're gonna bite These are not pointy sharp, but they got at least for this I saw they're actually pretty nice. It's got good sized bar studs on it. Which is surprising. But it's got to fit the OEM bolt pattern. Oh, it's nice. It's got a primer bulb. Okay, bring you around this way so you can see it better because I can do the chain better from here. Don't mind the garbage bags. I forgot to drop them off. Too extreme. There we go. I'm doing this all in one take, so if it seems I don't know what I'm doing about uh, talking about, this is not scripted at all. All right, do the typical unkinking of the chain. I'm going to go to the saw dealer and I don't know what kind of file this is. Yeah, this has got to be square grind. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Pretty sure it is. And it's a safety chain too. This almost looks like it could be a hexafile. Yeah, maybe it's a modified... Uh, Maybe this is run file. I'll take it to the... Nah. Looking at it, it looks almost square grind. Anyway. I don't like these uh, outboard clutches for putting chains on. Take this off and put it on the sprocket first. This is why I hate outboard clutches. You can't see the sprocket so easily. Alright. 
see if I can. Oh, hey, backing uh, the chain tension all the way off. Oops. Forgot to put a little grease on this thing. Let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, I just uh, used the edge of the tailgate to at least there's some grease on there. Okay. So I can't grease the clutch bearing like I always like to do on these saws so if that when that clutch bearing dies it dies There we go. Nut didn't want to go on at first. The heck. That's all they captured nuts. Hold on, let me get this uh, figured out here. Okay, I got the nuts in place. Make sure that chain clutch cover is on all the way. I know this is going to loosen up almost immediately, but still you don't want it too tight just in case they uh, pre-stretched their chain. Sorry if I got in the way, I didn't realize my big head was in the way. Like a steel, I swear, the factory steel chains are pre-stretched because they don't stretch right away. You've got to make a few cuts a lot of times. At least the last time I used this steel chain. No telling how they did uh, the carb settings. I won't know until it runs.
Unlike some of these clone caps, these are easy on, easy off. Better than the flip top steel caps. It's set up so you can start this bad boy. Choke out. Eight primes on a bone dry tank. Eight, nine. Now try to guess how long it takes at the fire. Break on. Well, the choke lever is clearly not working right. bit of a problem here. It's going to be some carb tuning before this is ready to go. It's uh, idle speed. That's bad. take a minute to figure out what I need to do to get this thing idling right. It run, starts and runs easy. All right. It turned out I was turning the uh, idle speed the wrong way. Okay, so I, I rubbed it. I was like, okay, turning it counterclockwise it wasn't working. So I just shut it off, cranked it back in where it was and turned it in a little more. Fires right up. So, 
that's the first start so I'm gonna go make a couple of cuts and see how she run really runs but first tension up the chain since it got the initial looseness out of it and then I'll let you know what I think of its performance so far. Oh, I could tell this thing is oiling good because it's just dripping oil out of this thing. Maybe the oiler's turned up too high. I'll look into that later. All right, now to get geared up and go hit the wood. So in those couple of cuts, it ran good, but of course it's four-stroke and really bad. You could hear the difference between the Auto-Tune T540 XP. That's all cost. Well, it's like five times the price of what I paid for this one. So of course it's going to run better. You know, of course it's got Auto-Tune. You don't have to adjust it. So I'm going to leave the carb settings on the NH543. The way they are for the first tank and then start tuning i want to take it a little easier on the motor for breaking it in so let's keep cutting
bad little saw. I could tell it's got potential because of the four stroking. You can hear it's going four stroking so bad. It's excessively rich on the high jet, but it's cutting. And I could tell once you get it tuned, this thing will scream. It will scream. All right, let's finish cutting. First, I gotta get these chunks out of the way so I can, you know, don't trip and fall. Yeah, that last little uh, cut I tried to do when I checked the gas, I'm like, that's oh, got a couple cuts. No, it didn't even finish that cut. So, and uh, yeah, it didn't get a whole lot cut uh, out of that first tank. And remember, it is running extremely rich, so it's not getting a cutting speed, which will save fuel because you can cut faster in the same amount of fuel. So what I got cut up here. Okay, got this pile here cut up and a few chunks over there so I'm guessing half a cord at best but it is a small tank and it is running rich so we'll see how it performs over the next few tanks so I hope you enjoyed that one I'm wondering what the Neotech NH 843 is like uh, compared it to you know a 600 some dollar saw which is a bit unfair plus you know it's auto tune it's smaller engine but it's auto tuned you know and and stuff so it's running perfect so naturally it's gonna run better but I think once that gets tuned up it's gonna be a good little uh, small saw for this kind of stuff so I'll get a, a round file chain on there uh, just so I can uh, sharpen it myself not need a uh, square grind because that is a square grind on there from everything I can see on it, it is a square grind so get some uh, round file chains uh, get one of those on there get it all sharpened and prepped up and keep cutting with that one so yeah I don't know if I'm gonna keep that one keep the NH843 away which is right there keep this one or the NCS5800 which is you know, also the 6200 it depends on you know what you want to call it they're the same saws no idea why there's a number difference but there is but yeah it's one of those two saws I'm going to give away if I like this one I'm gonna have to run the 50 and 100 again just to be sure but one of these two those two sauces are gonna be given away in the upcoming video so that's it folks till next time take care get out there do something have fun doing it